A circadian rhythm is any biological process that displays an endogenous, entrainable oscillation of about 24 hours. These 24-hour rhythms are driven by a circadian clock, and they have been widely observed in plants, animals, fungi, and cyanobacteria. The term circadian comes from the Latin circa, meaning around, or approximately, and diem, meaning day. The formal study of biological temporal rhythms, such as daily, tidal, weekly, seasonal, and annual rhythms, is called chronobiology. Processes with 24 hour oscillations are more generally called diurnal rhythms. Strictly speaking, they should not be called circadian rhythms unless their endogenous nature is confirmed. Although circadian rhythms are endogenous, built in, self sustained, they are adjusted entrained to the local environment by external cues called Zeitgebers from German, time giver, which include light, temperature, and redox cycles. In medical science, an abnormal circadian rhythm in humans is known as circadian rhythm disorder. In 2017, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Jeffrey C. Hall, Michael Rosbash, and Michael W. Young for their discoveries of molecular mechanisms controlling the circadian rhythm in fruit flies. Topic: History. The earliest recorded account of a circadian process dates from the 4th century BC, when Androsthenes, a ship captain serving under Alexander the Great, described diurnal leaf movements of the tamarind tree. The observation of a circadian or diurnal process in humans is mentioned in Chinese medical texts dated to around the 13th century, including the Noon and Midnight Manual and the Mnemonic Rhyme to aid in the selection of acupuncture points according to the diurnal cycle, the day of the month and the season of the year. The first recorded observation of an endogenous circadian oscillation was by the French scientist Jean-Jacques Dordis de Marin in 1729. He noted that 24-hour patterns in the movement of the leaves of the plant Mimosa pudica continued even when the plants were kept in constant darkness. In the first experiment to attempt to distinguish an endogenous clock from responses to daily stimuli, in 1896, Patrick and Gilbert observed that during a prolonged period of sleep deprivation, sleepiness increases and decreases with a period of approximately 24 hours. In 1918, J.S. Shemansky showed that animals are capable of maintaining 24-hour activity patterns in the absence of external cues such as light and changes in temperature. In the early 20th century, circadian rhythms were noticed in the rhythmic feeding times of bees. Extensive experiments were done by Auguste Farel, Ingeborg Belling, and Oscar Wall to see whether this rhythm was due to an endogenous clock. The existence of circadian rhythm was independently discovered in the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster in 1935 by two German zoologists, Hans Kalmus and Erwin Bunning. In 1954, an important experiment was reported by Colin Pitondry, who showed that eclosion, the process of pupa turning into adult in D. pseudoobscura, was a circadian behavior. He demonstrated that while temperature played a vital role in eclosion rhythm, the period of eclosion was delayed but not stopped when temperature was decreased. It was an indication that circadian rhythm was controlled by an internal biological clock. The term circadian was coined by Franz Halberg in 1959. According to Halberg's original definition, the term circadian was derived from circa about and dies day, it may serve to imply that certain physiologic periods are close to 24 hours, if not exactly that length. Herein, circadian might be applied to all 24-hour rhythms, whether or not their periods, individually or on the average, are different from 24 hours, longer or shorter, by a few minutes or hours. In 1977, the International Committee on Nomenclature of the International Society for Chronobiology formally adopted the definition, which states, Circadian, relating to biologic variations or rhythms with a frequency of one cycle in 24 plus or minus 4 h, circa about, approximately, and dies day or 24 hours. Note, term describes rhythms with an about 24-h cycle length, whether they are frequency synchronized with acceptable or are desynchronized or free running from the local environmental time scale, with periods of slightly yet consistently different from 24-h. Ron Konopka and Seymour Benzer identified the first clock mutant in Drosophila in 1971 and called it period. Per gene, the first discovered genetic determinant of behavioral rhythmicity, per gene was isolated in 1984 by two teams of researchers. 
Konopka, Jeffrey Hall, Michael Rochebash and their team showed that per locus is the center of the circadian rhythm, and that loss of per stops circadian activity. At the same time, Michael W. Young's team reported similar effects of PER, and that the gene covers 7.1 kilobase KB interval on the X chromosome and encodes a 4.5 kilobits poly a plus RNA. They went on to discover the key genes and neurons in Drosophila circadian system, for which Hall, Rosbash, and Young received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2017. Joseph Takahashi discovered the first mammalian circadian clock mutation clock delta 19, using mice in 1994. However, recent studies show that deletion of clock does not lead to a behavioral phenotype, the animals still have normal circadian rhythms, which questions its importance in rhythm generation. Criteria To be called circadian, a biological rhythm must meet these three general criteria. The rhythm has an endogenous free-running period that lasts approximately 24 hours. The rhythm persists in constant conditions, i.e., constant darkness with a period of about 24 hours. The period of the rhythm in constant conditions is called the free running period and is denoted by the Greek letter tau, tau. The rationale for this criterion is to distinguish circadian rhythms from simple responses to daily external cues. A rhythm cannot be said to be endogenous unless it has been tested and persists in conditions without external periodic input. In diurnal animals active during daylight hours, in general tau is slightly greater than 24 hours, whereas, in nocturnal animals active at night, in general tau is shorter than 24 hours. The rhythms are untrainable. The rhythm can be reset by exposure to external stimuli such as light and heat, a process called entrainment. The external stimulus used to entrain a rhythm is called the sightgaber, or time giver. Travel across time zones illustrates the ability of the human biological clock to adjust to the local time. A person will usually experience jet lag before entrainment of their circadian clock has brought it into sync with local time. The rhythms exhibit temperature compensation. In other words, they maintain circadian periodicity over a range of physiological temperatures. Many organisms live at a broad range of temperatures, and differences in thermal energy will affect the kinetics of all molecular processes in their cells. In order to keep track of time, the organism's circadian clock must maintain roughly a 24-hour periodicity despite the changing kinetics, a property known as temperature compensation. The Q10 temperature coefficient is a measure of this compensating effect. If the Q10 coefficient remains approximately 1 as temperature increases, the rhythm is considered to be temperature compensated. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin. Circadian rhythms allow organisms to anticipate and prepare for precise and regular environmental changes. They thus enable organisms to better capitalize on environmental resources e light and food, compared to those that cannot predict such availability. It has therefore been suggested that circadian rhythms put organisms at a selective advantage in evolutionary terms. However, rhythmicity appears to be as important in regulating and coordinating internal metabolic processes, as in coordinating with the environment. This is suggested by the maintenance heritability of circadian rhythms in fruit flies after several hundred generations in constant laboratory conditions, as well as in creatures in constant darkness in the wild, and by the experimental elimination of behavioral, but not physiological, circadian rhythms in quail. What drove circadian rhythms to evolve has been an enigmatic question. Previous hypotheses emphasized that photosensitive proteins and circadian rhythms may have originated together in the earliest cells, with the purpose of protecting replicating DNA from high levels of damaging ultraviolet radiation during the daytime. As a result, replication was relegated to the dark. However, evidence for this is lacking, since the simplest organisms with a circadian rhythm, the cyanobacteria, do the opposite of this, they divide more in the daytime. Recent studies instead highlight the importance of co-evolution of redox proteins with circadian oscillators in all three domains of life following the Great Oxidation event approximately 2.3 billion years ago. The current view is that circadian changes in environmental oxygen levels and the production of reactive oxygen species in the presence of daylight are likely to have driven a need to evolve circadian rhythms to preempt, and therefore counteract, damaging redox reactions on a daily basis. 
The simplest known circadian clocks are bacterial circadian rhythms, exemplified by the prokaryote cyanobacteria. Recent research has demonstrated that the circadian clock of Synecococcus elongatus can be reconstituted in vitro with just the three proteins of their central oscillator. This clock has been shown to sustain a 22-hour rhythm over several days upon the addition of ATP. Previous explanations of the prokaryotic circadian timekeeper were dependent upon a DNA transcription – translation feedback mechanism, a defect in the human homologue of the Drosophila. Period. Gene was identified as a cause of the sleep disorder FASPS familial advanced sleep phase syndrome, underscoring the conserved nature of the molecular circadian clock through evolution. Many more genetic components of the biological clock are now known. Their interactions result in an interlocked feedback loop of gene products resulting in periodic fluctuations that the cells of the body interpret as a specific time of the day. It is now known that the molecular circadian clock can function within a single cell, i.e., it is cell autonomous. This was shown by Gene Block in isolated mollusk BRNs. At the same time, different cells may communicate with each other resulting in a synchronized output of electrical signaling. These may interface with endocrine glands of the brain to result in periodic release of hormones. The receptors for these hormones may be located far across the body and synchronize the peripheral clocks of various organs. Thus, the information of the time of the day is relayed by the eyes travels to the clock in the brain, and, through that, clocks in the rest of the body may be synchronized. This is how the timing of, for example, sleep, wake, body temperature, thirst, and appetite are coordinately controlled by the biological clock. Topic. Importance in animals Circadian rhythmicity is present in the sleeping and feeding patterns of animals, including human beings. There are also clear patterns of core body temperature, brain wave activity, hormone production, cell regeneration, and other biological activities. In addition, photoperiodism, the physiological reaction of organisms to the length of day or night, is vital to both plants and animals, and the circadian system plays a role in the measurement and interpretation of day length. Timely prediction of seasonal periods of weather conditions, food availability, or predator activity is crucial for survival of many species. Although not the only parameter, the changing length of the photoperiod day length is the most predictive environmental cue for the seasonal timing of physiology and behavior, most notably for timing of migration, hibernation, and reproduction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effect of circadian disruption. Mutations or deletions of clock gene in mice have demonstrated the importance of body clocks to ensure the proper timing of cellular, metabolic events. Clock mutant mice are hyperphagic and obese, and have altered glucose metabolism. In mice, deletion of the Rev Erba alpha clock gene facilitates diet induced obesity and changes the balance between glucose and lipid utilization, predisposing to diabetes. However, it is not clear whether there is a strong association between clock gene polymorphisms in humans and the susceptibility to develop the metabolic syndrome. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effect of light-dark cycle. The rhythm is linked to the light-dark cycle. Animals, including humans, kept in total darkness for extended periods eventually function with a free-running rhythm. Their sleep cycle is pushed back or forward each day, depending on whether their day, their endogenous period, is shorter or longer than 24 hours. The environmental cues that reset the rhythms each day are called sightgebers from the German time givers. Totally blind subterranean mammals, e.g., blind mole rat Spalax sp, are able to maintain their endogenous clocks in the apparent absence of external stimuli. Although they lack image-forming eyes, their photoreceptors which detect light are still functional, they do surface periodically as well. Free-running organisms that normally have one or two consolidated sleep episodes will still have them when in an environment shielded from external cues, but the rhythm is not entrained to the 24-hour light-dark cycle in nature. 
The sleep-wake rhythm may, in these circumstances, become out of phase with other circadian or ultradian rhythms such as metabolic, hormonal, CNS electrical, or neurotransmitter rhythms. Recent research has influenced the design of spacecraft environments, as systems that mimic the light-dark cycle have been found to be highly beneficial to astronauts. Topic: <laughs> Arctic animals. Norwegian researchers at the University of Tromsø have shown that some Arctic animals ptarmigan, reindeer show circadian rhythms only in the parts of the year that have daily sunrises and sunsets. In one study of reindeer, animals at 70 degrees north showed circadian rhythms in the autumn, winter and spring, but not in the summer. Reindeer on Svalbard at 78 degrees north showed such rhythms only in autumn and spring. The researchers suspect that other Arctic animals as well may not show circadian rhythms in the constant light of summer and the constant dark of winter. A 2006 study in northern Alaska found that day living ground squirrels and nocturnal porcupines strictly maintain their circadian rhythms through 82 days and nights of sunshine. The researchers speculate that these two rodents notice that the apparent distance between the sun and the horizon is shortest once a day, and, thus, a sufficient signal to entrain adjust by. Butterfly and moth The navigation of the fall migration of the eastern North American monarch butterfly to their overwintering grounds in central Mexico uses a time-compensated sun compass that depends upon a circadian clock in their antennae. Also, circadian rhythm is also known to control mating behavior in certain moth species such as Spodoptera littoralis, where females produce specific pheromone that attracts and resets the male circadian rhythm to induce mating at night. In plants Plant circadian rhythms tell the plant what season it is and when to flower for the best chance of attracting pollinators. Behaviors showing rhythms include leaf movement, growth, germination, stomatal, gas exchange, enzyme activity, photosynthetic activity, and fragrance emission, among others. Circadian rhythms occur as a plant entrains to synchronize with the light cycle of its surrounding environment. These rhythms are endogenously generated and self-sustaining and are relatively constant over a range of ambient temperatures. Important features include two interacting transcription translation feedback loops, proteins containing PA domains, which facilitate protein protein interactions, and several photoreceptors that fine tune the clock to different light conditions. Anticipation of changes in the environment allows appropriate changes in a plant's physiological state, conferring an adaptive advantage. A better understanding of plant circadian rhythms has applications in agriculture, such as helping farmers stagger crop harvests to extend crop availability and securing against massive losses due to weather. Light is the signal by which plants synchronize their internal clocks to their environment and is sensed by a wide variety of photoreceptors. Red and blue light are absorbed through several phytochromes and cryptochromes. One phytochrome, PHYA, is the main phytochrome in seedlings grown in the dark but rapidly degrades in light to produce CRY1. Phytochromes BE are more stable with PHYB, the main phytochrome in seedlings grown in the light. The cryptochrome CRY gene is also a light-sensitive component of the circadian clock and is thought to be involved both as a photoreceptor and as part of the clock's endogenous pacemaker mechanism. Cryptochromes 1 to 2 involved in blue uva help to maintain the period length in the clock through a whole range of light conditions. The central oscillator generates a self-sustaining rhythm and is driven by two interacting feedback loops that are active at different times of day. The morning loop consists of CCA1, circadian and clock associated 1, and LHY, late elongated hypocotyl, which encode closely related MYB transcription factors that regulate circadian rhythms in Arabidopsis, as well as PRR7 and 9 pseudo response regulators. The evening loop consists of GI, gigantia, and ELF4, both involved in regulation of flowering time genes. When CCA1 and LHY are overexpressed under constant light or dark conditions, plants become arrhythmic, and mRNA signals reduce, contributing to a negative feedback loop. Gene expression of CCA1 and LHY oscillates and peaks in the early morning, whereas TOC1 gene expression oscillates and peaks in the early evening. 
While it was previously hypothesized that these three genes model a negative feedback loop in which overexpressed CCA1 and LHY repress TOC1 and overexpressed TOC1 is a positive regulator of CCA1 and LHY, it was shown in 2012 by Andrew Miller and others that TOC1 in fact serves as a repressor not only of CCA1, LHY, and PRR7 and 9 in the morning loop but also of GI and ELF4 in the evening loop. This finding and further computational modeling of TOC1 gene functions and interactions suggest a reframing of the plant circadian clock as a triple negative component repressilator model rather than the positive, negative element feedback loop characterizing the clock in mammals. In 2018, researchers found that the expression of PRR5 and TOC1 HNRNA nascent transcripts follows the same oscillatory pattern as processed mRNA transcripts rhythmically in a. Thaliana.lnks binds to the 5 region of PRR5 and TOC1 and interacts with RNAP2 and other transcription factors. Moreover, RVE8LNK's interaction enables a permissive histone methylation pattern H3K4 -me3 to be modified and the histone modification itself parallels the oscillation of clock gene expression. In Drosophila The molecular mechanism of circadian rhythm and light perception are best understood in Drosophila. Clock genes are discovered from Drosophila, and they act together with the clock neurons. There are two unique rhythms, one during the process of hatching called eclosion from the pupa, and the other during mating. The clock neurons are located in distinct clusters in the central brain. The best understood clock neurons are the large and small lateral ventral neurons LLNVs and SLNVs of the optic lobe. These neurons produce pigment dispersing factor PDF, a neuropeptide that acts as a circadian neuromodulator between different clock neurons. Drosophila circadian rhythm is through a transcription translation feedback loop. The core clock mechanism consists of two interdependent feedback loops, namely the PER-TIM loop and the CLK-CYC loop. The CLK CYC loop occurs during the day and initiates the transcription of the PER and TIM genes. But their proteins' levels remain low until dusk, because during daylight also activates the double time DBT gene. DBT protein causes phosphorylation and turnover of monomeric PER proteins. TIM is also phosphorylated by Shaggy until sunset. After sunset, DBT disappears, so that PER molecules stably bind to TIM. Per TIM dimer enters the nucleus several at night, and binds to CLK, CYC dimers. Bound PER completely stops the transcriptional activity of CLK and CYC. In the early morning, light activates the CRY gene and its protein CRY causes the breakdown of TIM. Thus PER TIM dimer dissociates, and the unbound PER becomes unstable. PER undergoes progressive phosphorylation and ultimately degradation. Absence of PER and TIM allows activation of CLK and CYC genes. Thus, the clock is reset to start the next circadian cycle. In mammals The primary circadian clock in mammals is located in the suprachiasmatic nucleus or nuclei SCN, a pair of distinct groups of cells located in the hypothalamus. Destruction of the SCN results in the complete absence of a regular sleep-wake rhythm. The SCN receives information about illumination through the eyes. The retina of the eye contains classical photoreceptors, rods, and cones, which are used for conventional vision. But the retina also contains specialized ganglion cells that are directly photosensitive, and project directly to the SCN, where they help in the entrainment synchronization of this master circadian clock. These cells contain the photopigment melanopsin and their signals follow a pathway called the retinohypothalamic tract, leading to the SCN. If cells from the SCN are removed and cultured, they maintain their own rhythm in the absence of external cues. The SCN takes the information on the lengths of the day and night from the retina, interprets it, and passes it on to the pineal gland, a tiny structure shaped like a pine cone and located on the epithalamus. In response, the pineal secretes the hormone melatonin. Secretion of melatonin peaks at night and ebbs during the day, and its presence provides information about night length. 
Several studies have indicated that pineal melatonin feeds back on SCN rhythmicity to modulate circadian patterns of activity and other processes. However, the nature and system level significance of this feedback are unknown. The circadian rhythms of humans can be entrained to slightly shorter and longer periods than the Earth's 24 hours. Researchers at Harvard have shown that human subjects can at least be entrained to a 23.5 hour cycle and a 24.65 hour cycle, the latter being the natural solar day night cycle on the planet Mars. <laughs> humans Early research into circadian rhythms suggested that most people preferred a day closer to 25 hours when isolated from external stimuli like daylight and timekeeping. However, this research was faulty because it failed to shield the participants from artificial light. Although subjects were shielded from time cues like clocks and daylight, the researchers were not aware of the phase-delaying effects of indoor electric lights. The subjects were allowed to turn on light when they were awake and to turn it off when they wanted to sleep. Electric light in the evening delayed their circadian phase. A more stringent study conducted in 1999 by Harvard University estimated the natural human rhythm to be closer to 24 hours and 11 minutes, much closer to the solar day. Biological markers and effects The classic phase markers for measuring the timing of a mammal's circadian rhythm are Melatonin secretion by the pineal gland Core body temperature minimum, and Plasma level of cortisol. For temperature studies, subjects must remain awake but calm and semi-reclined in near darkness while their rectal temperatures are taken continuously. Though variation is great among normal chronotypes, the average human adult's temperature reaches its minimum at about 5 o'clock 5 a.m., about two hours before habitual wake time. Beer et al. found that, in young adults, the daily body temperature minimum occurred at about 4 o'clock 4 a.m. for morning types but at about 6 o'clock 6 a.m. for evening types. This minimum occurred at approximately the middle of the 8-hour sleep period for morning types, but closer to waking in evening types. Melatonin is absent from the system or undetectably low during daytime. Its onset in dim light, dim light melatonin onset DLMO, at roughly 2100 9 p.m. can be measured in the blood or the saliva. Its major metabolite can also be measured in morning urine. Both DLMO and the midpoint in time of the presence of the hormone in the blood or saliva have been used as circadian markers. However, newer research indicates that the melatonin offset may be the more reliable marker. Benlusif et al. found that melatonin phase markers were more stable and more highly correlated with the timing of sleep than the core temperature minimum. They found that both sleep offset and melatonin offset are more strongly correlated with phase markers than the onset of sleep. In addition, the declining phase of the melatonin levels is more reliable and stable than the termination of melatonin synthesis. Other physiological changes that occur according to a circadian rhythm include heart rate and many cellular processes, including oxidative stress, cell metabolism, immune and inflammatory responses, epigenetic modification, hypoxia, hyperoxia response pathways, endoplasmic reticular stress, autophagy, and regulation of the stem cell environment. In a study of young men, it was found that the heart rate reaches its lowest average rate during sleep, and its highest average rate shortly after waking. In contradiction to previous studies, it has been found that there is no effect of body temperature on performance on psychological tests. This is likely due to evolutionary pressures for higher cognitive function compared to the other areas of function examined in previous studies. Topic. Outside the Master clock More or less independent circadian rhythms are found in many organs and cells in the body outside the suprachiasmatic nuclei SCN, the master clock. Indeed, neuroscientist Joseph Takahashi and colleagues stated in a 2013 article that, "...almost every cell in the body contains a circadian clock." For example, these clocks, called peripheral oscillators, have been found in the adrenal gland, esophagus, lungs, liver, pancreas, spleen, thymus, and skin. There is also some evidence that the olfactory bulb and prostate may experience oscillations, at least when cultured. 
Though oscillators in the skin respond to light, a systemic influence has not been proven. In addition, many oscillators, such as liver cells, for example, have been shown to respond to inputs other than light, such as feeding. Light and the biological clock Light resets the biological clock in accordance with the phase response curve PRC. Depending on the timing, light can advance or delay the circadian rhythm. Both the PRC and the required illuminance vary from species to species and lower light levels are required to reset the clocks in nocturnal rodents than in humans. Enforced longer cycles Studies by Nathaniel Kleitman in 1938 and by Dirk Jan Dyke and Charles Zeisler in the 1990s put human subjects on enforced 28-hour sleep-wake cycles, in constant dim light and with other time cues suppressed, for over a month. Because normal people cannot entrain to a 28-hour day in dim light if at all, this is referred to as a forced desynchrony protocol. Sleep and wake episodes are uncoupled from the endogenous circadian period of about 24.18 hours and researchers are allowed to assess the effects of circadian phase on aspects of sleep and wakefulness including sleep latency and other functions, both physiological, behavioral, and cognitive. <laughs> Human health Timing of medical treatment in coordination with the body clock, chronotherapeutics, may significantly increase efficacy and reduce drug toxicity or adverse reactions. A number of studies have concluded that a short period of sleep during the day, a power nap, does not have any measurable effect on normal circadian rhythms but can decrease stress and improve productivity. Health problems can result from a disturbance to the circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythms also play a part in the reticular activating system, which is crucial for maintaining a state of consciousness. A reversal in the sleep-wake cycle may be a sign or complication of uremia, azotemia or acute renal failure. Studies have also shown that light has a direct effect on human health because of the way it influences the circadian rhythms. Topic: <laughs> Indoor lighting Lighting requirements for circadian regulation are not simply the same as those for vision. Planning of indoor lighting in offices and institutions is beginning to take this into account. Animal studies on the effects of light in laboratory conditions have until recently considered light intensity or radiance, but not color, which can be shown to act as an essential regulator of biological timing in more natural settings. Obesity and diabetes Obesity and diabetes are associated with lifestyle and genetic factors. Among those factors, disruption of the circadian clockwork and or misalignment of the circadian timing system with the external environment e.g., light-dark cycle might play a role in the development of metabolic disorders. Shift work or chronic jet lag have profound consequences on circadian and metabolic events in the body. Animals that are forced to eat during their resting period show increased body mass and altered expression of clock and metabolic genes. In humans, shift work that favors irregular eating times is associated with altered insulin sensitivity and higher body mass. Shift work also leads to increased metabolic risks for cardiometabolic syndrome, hypertension, and inflammation. Topic. Airline pilots and cabin crew Due to the work nature of airline pilots, who often cross several time zones and regions of sunlight and darkness in one day, and spend many hours awake both day and night, they are often unable to maintain sleep patterns that correspond to the natural human circadian rhythm. This situation can easily lead to fatigue. The NTSB cites this as contributing to many accidents and has conducted several research studies in order to find methods of combating fatigue in pilots. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Disruption. Disruption to rhythms usually has a negative effect. Many travelers have experienced the condition known as jet lag with its associated symptoms of fatigue, disorientation, and insomnia. 
A number of other disorders, for example bipolar disorder and some sleep disorders such as delayed sleep phase disorder (DSPD), are associated with irregular or pathological functioning of circadian rhythms. Disruption to rhythms in the longer term is believed to have significant adverse health consequences on peripheral organs outside the brain, in particular in the development or exacerbation of cardiovascular disease. Blue LED lighting suppresses melatonin production five times more than the orange-yellow high-pressure sodium HPS light. A metal halide lamp, which is white light, suppresses melatonin at a rate more than three times greater than HPS. Depression symptoms from long-term nighttime light exposure can be undone by returning to a normal cycle. Topic: <laughs> Effect of drugs. Studies conducted on both animals and humans show major bidirectional relationships between the circadian system and abusive drugs. It is indicated that these abusive drugs affect the central circadian pacemaker. Individuals suffering from substance abuse display disrupted rhythms. These disrupted rhythms can increase the risk for substance abuse and relapse. It is possible that genetic and or environmental disturbances to the normal sleep and wake cycle can increase the susceptibility to addiction. It is difficult to determine if a disturbance in the circadian rhythm is at fault for an increase in prevalence for substance abuse or if other environmental factors such as stress are to blame. Changes to the circadian rhythm and sleep occur once an individual begins abusing drugs and alcohol. Once an individual chooses to stop using drugs and alcohol, the circadian rhythm continues to be disrupted. The stabilization of sleep and the circadian rhythm might possibly help to reduce the vulnerability to addiction and reduce the chances of relapse. Circadian rhythms and clock genes expressed in brain regions outside the suprachiasmatic nucleus may significantly influence the effects produced by drugs such as cocaine. Moreover, genetic manipulations of clock genes profoundly affect cocaine's actions. Society and culture In 2017, Jeffrey C. Hall, Michael W. Young, and Michael Rosbash were awarded Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, "...for their discoveries of molecular mechanisms controlling the circadian rhythm." See also